Hello and welcome to Karan Bike. The flying fee has dropped in India for the first time. And we've seen this bike before in Milan and of course we've seen you the, how the bike looks like. So a lot of people will already show you the bike but we'll focus on what we're seeing for the first time and with me is Matt here the product strategy. Talk us through the display and what all it has. So Matt, quite a comprehensive display you have isn't it? Absolutely. It has everything you need to ride a motorcycle. But it's not just a display. Right. This is your interaction point for the brains of the motorcycle. We've integrated connectivity into the core of the architecture, right. partnering with partners like Qualcomm and NXP that power a custom-built Android open source operating system that was designed in-house by Royal Enfield. Right, so quite a comprehensive tech-laden, loaded with tech yeah. kind of a system yeah. that you have. And this system looks very retro, although it's digital. It's a round uh, display which goes yes. with the styling of the bike. But inside the display, it's, I've seen the uh, menu. Yeah. Can you so, walk us through what all is there? Absolutely. So this is right. We started with a 3.5 inch true round display. We customize around that experience. But we built in all of the apps that you're used to using in your, auto, in your car today. Right. So we have maps, full screen map navigation built into the vehicle. Like the Himalayans full screen map. Like the Himalayan, but the next generation of design. Oh, it's more. So we, we stuck with some of the core values that the Himalayan brings. So we have, we're running on Google Maps, which gives us one of the world's best location searches. Also one of the strongest navigation engines. But we've now allowed it to go, take up the entire screen, not just sort of a portion of the screen. Right. Um, we've also improved a lot of little touch points because with the Qualcomm operating system or system on chip, it allows us to really go to the next level in that experience. Right. So in addition to navigation, we have our um, music. We have music, we have a, a internet radio, we have phone calls, we have messaging. Uh, we even threw in a compass, which you might remember from the Himalayan. Right. Yeah. So, uh, just going through the system, this is the home screen, right? Yep, so we start from the home screen, and then you simply grab the brakes. Right. That means that you engage drive. Okay. So, we didn't even mention that the fact that I walked up to the bike, and because it's always connected, it knew that it was me walking up. Oh, it's already right away. switched on. It not, not only knows that it's me, but it knows that I'm the owner of the bike. Right. And it unlocks all the features. I can also share a key with you. And when you walk up to the bike, it will know it's you, and it will give you access to everything that I've set for you. If I'm a rash rider, can you limit how I ride? A little bit. I've heard that you're a rash rider, and <laughs> they've told me to limit the speed to 60 kilometers per hour. <laughs> <laughs> and if your wife has access to the bike, would she yeah. be always able to keep track on where you are, about your whereabouts? What so you can not only she can track you, yes, but you can also share your location. All right. So we have a, a SOS button that we've integrated. But it's not a traditional SOS. What it does is it sends your status to your loved ones. Right, in case of a fall or... Not even in case of a fall. Just let's say, hey, I want to let my wife know where I am. Right. I can use that to say, this is where I am. Right. Or if there's a fall, the system will automatically let her know there's been a fall, he's at this location, and you can reach out to them. Right. You can also activate emergency services at that point. Oh, wow. So it's up to you. But, as you said, I may be out riding rashly, and I don't want to let anyone know. So by simply tapping on the screen here, oh, let's go back, there we go. Simply tapping on the screen will activate incognito mode. Okay. So you still have all of the amazing, fun, visceral speed, but it's now disconnected the connection between the bike and the cloud. All right. So you're now, your location is anonymous at that point. Right. And uh, so some ride modes also, right? How many ride modes does the bike come with? So it has, Thousands of combinations of ride modes. Thousands. 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 But we have four that are standard right. based on different ride conditions. So we have performance, which is max power, max regen, um, minimizing the ABS and, and traction control. We also have a touring mode, which is a little bit softer throttle. So when you have a pillion or you want to take your time, and it also has a slightly more sensitive ABS and traction control. And I forgot to mention that we have lean angle sensing ABS. Oh, it's got an IMU as well. Yeah, full IMU. So that it, it's not just how traditional many, ABS. How many axes? Uh, so it's a off the, I believe it's a six axis six IMU. Axis. Okay. Yeah. So lean sensitive traction control, lean sensitive ABS and both? Uh, lean sensing ABS only, ABS only, standard traction control. Right. Uh, we also have a, a city or an eco mode for when you're riding around the city. 
So it, it's still very lively, but it keeps you from going out into the really inefficient zone while you're riding. Right. And so it also maximizes regen. Right. And uh, there's a custom mode also. Yeah, and the custom mode. So that's where you have thousands of opera options. So from this screen, let's just turn my connection back on to the cloud. We'll just do a quick reset. Yeah. There we go. So now I've engaged drive. While I'm sat at a light, I can access all of my ride modes. So performance, mm -hmm. off road off -road. for the S6. Oh, for the S6. For the not, S6, not yeah. For this, okay. Correct. Touring mode, rain, eco, and custom. So in the custom ride mode, I can change my lean angle sensing ABS. Yeah. So I can change my lean angle sensing ABS. Right. I have four different levels, including rear off. Yeah. And, and then completely off also. for the S6, we'll have completely off. Ah, OK, for the S6, but for the S6, right. right. OK. And then traction control, same, high, medium, low. And or completely off. off. And then you notice then you get your traction control icon that comes wow. on. And then I can set power delivery, power output. And there's 10 different settings. Torque, map, regen coast. So there's two levels of regen. And in that there's a lot of different lookup tables. So it's not just a very, it's very smooth in the way that you feel it. And then, oh, regen brake. Regen torque and regen brake. Right. You can uh, increase or decrease the amount of regen yeah. you want from braking as well, right? Yeah. And even there, it's intuitive where if I try to go below 40%, it won't let me. Right. I understand you're not disclosing any specs about the range or the motor power or the battery capacity. Yeah. But you did mention that, you know, this is going to set benchmarks in terms of predictive range and charging capability. Yeah. So the beauty of having a connected architecture from the ground up, that there is so much information that we share all the time with the cloud. What that means is that we can take all those variables and give it a really a much more accurate idea of what your range is based on traffic conditions, weather, how you ride in general, right. um, maybe the state of condition of your battery. So all of that comes into the range that you see. So even if you use the navigation to go from point A to point B, it gives us more information. And so we give even more accurate range accurate estimations. Accurate range, more predictive accurate range really. Correct, yeah. And uh, charging, so charger you mentioned is on board, right? Yeah. You don't have to carry lug around a charger. It yeah, absolutely. Heavy so we've, we've integrated and we've created what we think is one of the industry's best charging experiences. Core to that is that we've integrated the core things that you need into the architecture of the motorcycle. Right. So we've managed to package an amazing amount of technology mm -hmm. in a really compact package. Right, so the idea is to really give the user uh, very useful things like you know, range anxiety is taken care of to some extent. And yeah, we hope to at least alleviate the range anxiety because okay. the way is that we know that the range is predictable. When you get to where you're going, you can quickly add energy back into the bike mm -hmm. faster than anyone else in the industry. And you always know what that level of charge is from your phone. So you can walk away and you can relax a little bit and get ready to hop on the bike again and ride away. And when you charge it, you plug it, plug it in uh, the wire the cable that you're carrying. You plug it in and it's locked. Somebody You'll, can unplug it. You plug it right into the bike and it locks into the bike. And then you can plug it into the outlet or the wall Right. and, and walk away. Right. So a lot of features. Uh, look forward to the production model. How yeah. soon can we see the production model? So 2026. Right which seems like a long way away, but actually it's a long journey for us, right? That we, we plan to bring a lot of experience to people throughout the world, especially in the core markets like India, like Europe, like North America. Right. So we have a lot of work to do in actually not that many months. Right. <laughs> and it looks like a slim, light bike. What would be the weight, roughly 120? So 110 kilos 110 is what, kilos. We, yeah, what we talked about when, when right. you guys were there at ICMA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as well as in Manali, yeah. or I'm sorry, in, uh, in Goa. Yeah. Yeah. 
So 110 kilos, but we're always working to try to minimize it. So we're using magnesium for the battery. We're using forged aluminum. The what idea is, uh, is to really try to bring new materials right. for oil and fuel. Right. So that's the flying flea loaded with features, loaded with tech, and this is still a pre-production model. What you see here is uh, just for demo, it's not completely, completely ready yet. But from what we can see, it's going to be a stacked up, full-fledged tech-enabled system, right? Tech-enabled, but that integrates easily into your life. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for walking close. Yeah. So the Flying Flea has, is here now. Launch is still some time away, but from the looks of it, it's going to get a lot of tech, a lot of features, and a lot of things that you as a user probably have not yet experienced in any other electric two-wheeler. So lots to look forward to. Let us know what you think about the features of the Flying Flea in the comment section.